Oh, email me the actual thing. I don't know how to do that. You just create a file. Turn it into a uh, JPEG file or an MPEG file. That's what it's for, yeah. And then you can just email it to me. Probably do it from, right from here during lunch. Probably could. Because I got my USB cable. This is a can site, right? G73. Can site that. Yeah. We can do these things with the G01. Yep. We do the same thing. If you look at the first program we wrote, the first one on the first that page, sounds weird. Yep, all G01. Right. Then look at a program with the G01, and then you'll know. That sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah. That's this cutter over there. Yeah, mine still sounds good, so. <laughs> Wanna do three separate recordings for each? Mm-mm. So all you gotta do is change a program and hit go. You gotta figure it out now? No, it's fine, James. So this is the same width as this? You can get us talking on it. Okay. That's fine. Uh, well, first of all, you got a center jump, both ends, right in the center. The center this way and the center this way. You divide this in half and try to line this way. And then you're going to take it over. You can do it anywhere. If this is square, you can put it on any device. Just stand it upright. Put your center jump in there, edge five, go to the center, center jump. You want a pretty good center jump. This program. Right? Okay, are you good? Sweet, yeah. Let's take a look in there see what that looks like. What's out there, James? Okay? It's kind of funky, can you check that out? Yeah, it's got a little ch little chatter on there, but that's because okay. you were playing with the feed rate. Yeah, I was. It's okay. Close the door, please. That's John. Oh, I just spent an hour on that stupid cat cam thing and locked it. Okay, I'll, I'll be right there, okay? Just locked it. That, oh, you know, that's just what's been going on for me since day one. You know, and it's like you want to throw something. It's like. Well, don't throw the computer because those things are expensive. It's like. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I just did the same thing, did whatever. That's all right, man. You'll you'll find it, John. I'll no, right there, okay? you'll you'll figure it out, buddy. It, it doesn't take a long time. Once it does click, you'll get it. This program. Okay, do uh, ten circular number six. Okay, select memory. Commands. Cycle start. This time we got to run a little on there, okay? Okay. Okay, it's ready to run. You want to take it now, if you want to run block? in single block, you can do that, or you can just take it off and just let it run. Just Whatever you want to do. I guess. Okay, there you go. Here's the captain. Oh. Oh. Thank you. I'll help John. I'll be right back. Uh, probably gonna have to go up over to get this. Yeah, because there's gonna be coolant. Uh, you might not want to do that, James, because you might get the splash with coolant. Or just put it up so I can look down to this corner up here. Uh oh. No, that's right. Let's do an outside ring first. Yeah, but it should still be spitting that coolant right down on the part. You hit the feed hold button and the spindle stop and we can adjust it. You want to fix it? The feed holds and and then the stop button on the override. Yeah, we're getting coolant on there, so...
this program. Got any problem being on YouTube, do you? I gotta figure out what to name it. Circular interpolation. Sounds like a good one. It's not going to be edited or nothing, it's straight whatever comes off of here. I don't have editing programs. Uh, I think I do. Not here though. You don't have to edit it, James. Especially when you email it to me, don't edit it. That's it? Yeah. It was a squeegee doesn't do you no good because these edges just hang on to it. The squeegee doesn't get down inside of there. Yeah. It did pretty good on mine though. Go ahead and get in here and check that out, James. Get it? Yeah. What do we start out with? Yep. Yeah. 